Hey folks, I wanted to give you a run through of calculating stairwell openings. So you can see in this example, we have our total rise, 117 inches. We have our upper construction here. So the, how thick is the floor when you include your, your floor finishes and your ceiling finishes and everything. Total here is 11 and 3 eighths. We have some finishes that will be applied to our rough opening. So we'll have to include that to get, uh, you know, from our finished stairwell opening to our rough stairwell opening. So we leave enough allowance uh, for the materials. And because we're dealing with a private residence, we have a minimum headroom of uh, 1950 millimeters, which is 77 inches. Okay, so I'm just trying to keep everything in Imperial here, but we could just as easily have all these numbers in metric. Okay, so to start, let's look at our, our worksheet here. So this is a stairwell op openings worksheet. We're gonna put in our total rise. So our total rise is, is 117 inches. Okay. So what we're gonna do in, on this sheet is uh, go through, but we, what we really need to know is our unit rise and our unit run, because this is the formula that's really important. We're, we're gonna do a similar triangles. Basically, we're gonna say, well, if we take, let's go over here for a sec. If we take this big triangle here and we compare it to this little triangle here, our unit triangle, they should be similar. And right now, we actually know, right, what the total height is from here to here, because we know what the code requires and we know how thick that floor is. So once we figure out our unit triangle, what the unit rise and run will be, we can actually compare that to this big triangle and figure out what our stairwell opening is, okay? So let's go back to our worksheet here. So that's our total rise. So just as normal, we're gonna take our, our total rise, 117 divided by seven, and we get 16.714, okay? And usually it's a good idea to just round down, okay? So we're gonna round this down to 16, 17, 117, sorry, uh, divided by 16 gives us 7.3125. That's awesome because that equals exactly seven and five sixteenths, no rounding whatsoever. So that makes our lives a little bit easier. Um, the number of treads, we're gonna take 16 and we're gonna minus one. 16 minus one equals 15. Uh, as long as there's no top tread at the upper floor. So if we had, if this tread came up flush here, then we wouldn't subtract one. And that would be important because that changes, like we'd have to bump our stairwell opening by a whole extra tread, which we don't want to do. Okay, so calculate the unit run. Um, of course, depending on the material we're gonna use might change this, but we know that a comfortable set of stairs rise plus run equals somewhere between 17 and 18 inches, great. Um, so here we're just gonna pick 17 and a half so that we're kind of halfway between. So we take 17.5 minus 7.3125, that's our unit rise, and we get our unit run. So our unit run should be 10 and 3 sixteenths, which is uh, 10.1875, okay? Calculate our headroom plus upper construction. So if we look at our picture here, we wanna know the distance from the nosing line here, so we know that that's 77 inches or 1950, plus our upper construction to get up to here. Okay, so we want to just get that preemptively, get that, that number ready for us. So 77 plus uh, 11 and 3 eighths. So 77 plus 11 is 88, so 88 and 3 eighths. Okay, so 88.375 is our upper stair, headroom plus upper construction. Now here, calculate the stairwell opening, right? This is the formula. We're again we're comparing our our unit triangle to our big triangle. So looking back here, right, this big triangle here. Okay, so we're comparing that to the unit triangle. So the formula is unit run over unit rise is equal to stairwell opening over headroom plus upper construction. So again. Headroom plus upper construction is from the nosing line to the very top here. Now we've already done these numbers, so we have everything that we need. So let's look here. Our unit run is 10.1875 over 7.3125. So those are all 
11 inches. We're looking for the stairwell opening. That's the thing we don't know yet. And our uh, headroom plus upper construction is 88 and 3 eighths. Oops, let me put in decimals here, 0. 0.375. So as we normally do, we're going to take the 88, multiply it, and then we're going to divide this down. Okay, so I'm actually going to polish the calculator now and do this kind of live. So 88.375 times 10.1875 equals divided by 7.3125. So if we're solving for stairwell opening, so stairwell opening is equal to 123.121. Okay, now the reason why this is important is because this is, if we're looking at just the sheet here, this is the, the, the finished stairwell opening. So let me just preface this by saying that this is the finished stairwell opening. This is the correct height once we add our finishes. So if we accidentally make this our rough stairwell opening and then we add all of these layers on, our stairwell opening will now be less than 123 and an eighth and we'll have, a, we'll have an issue here. We won't have exactly six foot five to the stairwell opening. So what we do, and if you look at your modules or the hardcover textbook, we'll see um, the finished stairwell opening and they just do something very simple. They just go plus three inches. So we could just as easily call this 126 and an eighth and call it done. Hell, call it 126 and a quarter and it's just, just as good. But since we, we know exactly what our finishes are here, we could be more specific. So our finished stairwell opening, I'm running out of colors here. So our, our, our rough stairwell opening, sorry, is equal to 123.121 plus a half inch. So this drywall bumps this out by a half inch. And then we have our nosing that sticks out by an extra inch. And we have our riser board, which sticks out by an extra inch. So if we add that riser board, it bumps us out by another inch, okay? So we can go plus uh, 0 0.5 plus one plus one. So instead of adding three inches, we can be more specific and add two and a half inches. So what's that? 125, 125 and 5 eighths. 125 and 5 eighths, or call it 126 if you wanna just leave yourself some extra slack. All right, guys, I hope you find this video helpful. Remember to keep practicing this. You're only going to get better when you put in the reps, okay? Please let me know if you have any questions. Keep on trucking.